Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and today we're gonna be talking about Greedfall, a new upcoming RPG from Spider Studio. This gorgeous Baroque style RPG is supposed to come out sometimes in 2019. It's been a while since I released a new Greedfall video and you guys were very keen on seeing something new. Now I managed to find one website I had to translate to get some fresh things, but keep in mind all the major info is going to come out as 2019 comes closer. After we saw the gameplay it was released on E3 this year, the game itself looks like it has a lot of potential. In the past Spiders is known to make RPGs, but there was always something lacking. Now with Greedfall, they have taken their biggest project so far and they are keen on delivering an amazing product. If you want to catch up with all the details about the game since E3 till today, watch the video I linked down below. Now we shall talk about some new things we learned about the game from the lead writer and Spider CEO, Jean Rousseau. Because the game is going to have the good old every choice has a consequence, game will have multiple endings, but only three major ones, which I think is going to depend on two big factions like the Colonials and the Natives. This is, I believe, going to be something like in Gothic and Fallout New Vegas, where it's either one side that wins or they work together or something like that, or you can even destroy both factions. Like. Honestly, like, I don't know to what extent these choices are going to go, but what developers promised is that we will be able to choose to the very end what's gonna happen, and, like, every single one of our choices can, like, even if we don't want it to, can cause something bad to happen. Jean was asked about the inspiration behind the game. She said that they were inspired by the faction system in older Fallout games, but they're also looking at all the new games like The Witcher 3. They also said Bioware was an inspiration, but not their latest work, that's where they basically screwed up. The game is also going to be very dynamic with companions, meaning that if they start hating on you, it's because of your decisions and they might leave your party and therefore alter the ending a bit. Not too much, but every single time you want to make a choice, you have to see if your companion is going to like it or not. Also, the relationship you have with the factions will heavily result in the ending of the game, but it seems that generally, as I said before, game will have three big endings, but with many smaller alterations. It seems that Spiders is really working hard on this with their publisher Focus Home Interactive, and also bringing people into it to test the game so they can do as much polishing as they can. Honestly, I wouldn't expect like AAA polishing like all of those big games have, but even those big games right now can come out and not be polished at all. But for as long as these guys can polish this game, I say go for it. Even if you have to delay the release, it's better to delay something, work on it, make it good, than to release it, you know before and people will hate it, then you have to patch it and it becomes a nuisance, so hopefully they will do as much polishing as possible. Jean was also asked about the different combat approaches, if we will have the ability to utilize stealth in all the missions. The answer they got is that this is not primarily a stealth game, but when you don't have the ability to sneak, you can bribe or intimidate your opponent, but you can't avoid all the battles. And even though you are technically a colonial, you can work for and join different factions depending on your goal and philosophy. Now, when they say join, I'm wondering if that's going to be like a full-fledged um, I joined this faction and that's it, for example, like it was in Gothic, where once you join a faction, that's it, you are in that faction until the end of the game, or it's going to be like, let's say you have relationship with this faction this much and etc etc so this is going to be a very interesting thing to see generally when i look at this game i can see gothic but in a good way and i hope that the final result is going to be awesome also i will leave you a source for this down below it's a russian website as i said but i translated it into english i mean i didn't google it also tell me down below what you think about this will you be buying this game and also smash that like and subscribe button to stay updated with the latest news with greedfall and everything related to this game lkm signing out and stay classy everyone bye bye